Hello, this is Amber Wood. Welcome to video 25. Today we are doing a Ross and TJ Maxx haul video. Um, if you follow me on Instagram or if you're on my Facebook group, Sparkle and Shine with Amber Wood, I did a live video yesterday, but I talked about uh, the makeup I was doing going to Ross. So I went to the beauty section to see what I could find. I've got some goodies I wanted to share with y'all. Uh, so if you see anything that you like, if you have questions about it or you want me to do a review on it uh, or you just want more information about it, please let me know. Um, as usual, if you have not done so yet, please subscribe below and do it today. Mm-hmm. 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 Make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so you get a little note whenever I have a new video. So, let's take a little look-see. Now, the little top I'm wearing right now is also from Ross. Look how cute. $5.99. I am definitely a Ross girl, and I have been for a long time. So, if y'all know me, y'all know that. But look it. <laughs> so, my bags were amberful, as they say. So I want to show you what I got. Um, I got some good deals. And let's start with this. I don't know this company, so I don't know how good these are. I'm going to whip them out and see. But we've got some metallic glimmer liquid eyeliners. And there's five different colors. $5.99. So let's see if this is any good. I mean, I love a liquid eyeliner. And I love colors, obviously. Ooh. They're pretty. I mean, let's start with the blue. It looks like it's called JLB Cosmetics. I haven't really heard of this company before. But the packaging is pretty. Okay. Oh, that's okay. That's not, I mean, it feels light. Like, I don't know if there's that much product in there. But we've got a gold. It looks like green, blue, purple, and like a coppery color. Let's look at the purple. Ugh, it's a little patchy on the brush. A little patchy on that purple. I don't know. So I, you know, I'll try these out. Um, and I'll kind of put it on my Insta story if we like them or not. But it looked like a good deal. Let's see what else did I get. This is all from Ross right here. I got some brush cleaning pads. So I did a review a while back on one of those little bowl cleaners, and I'll put the link up here if you want to check that out. Um, and it was good, but I also talked about these kind of cleaners as well, and I know a lot of people like these. The one that I have is kind of a large uh, thing that kind of goes in the bottom of your sink, but I thought these might be cool to have some little small guys, and it looks like this is like a mitt, I guess. Put your fingers inside, and you can just hold the brush on there. So these were $3.99. So we'll give those a shot. What else did I get? I went the uh, coconut oil route. <laughs> We've got coconut oil creamy facial mask. This was $4.99. And it looks, I mean, it's still sealed. <laughs> I mean, that's one of the things you worry about when you go to Ross and TJ Maxx and all those kinds of places. You got to see, is has everybody had their fingers in that? And that's gross. But it's still sealed. So... I was good to go. So we're going to give that a try. And then this one is a coconut oil facial scrub. So it's a Palmer's coconut oil formula. No parabens, no folates, mineral oil, gluten, sulfates, it dyes. Okay, so it looks good. Three ninety nine ninety-nine. dollars Looked like a good deal. Now I'm in the upper age range. Um, I'm actually doing a, a regimen right now from Roden and Fields, trying to get rid of some of my age spots. Uh, but I thought this might be cool. I looked online, Progenix Vitamin C Dark Spot Face Serum. I looked online and it said it was like $16.99. So I bought it for $7.99. So I'm going to try this out. I want to see what it feels like. Breaking things. <laughs> I don't know how you open it. Oh, it's like a pump. Oh, it unscrews. Okay. Oh, it's like a dropper. Look it. What do I do? Oh, it's like hard plastic. Okay. Oh, and it pushes. It's like a little dropper. Ooh, it feels nice. Put it on my hands. Mm. Get rid of the spots on my hands. Okay. That's interesting. I'm enjoying that. 
Um, let's see, we got two other things from Ross. One, I had to get this. <laughs> it was an eyelash curler. Let's see, what? $2.99. Um, but look at it. It's a rainbow. I love a rainbow. We love rainbow stuff. Now, I don't know if it's going to be any good. It may be. <laughs> it may be junk. Let's see. Oh, I don't want to rip all my eyelashes out. I do have mascara on, so it kind of stuck to it. So we're going to wait until we have no mascara on so I don't rip all of my eyelashes out. The ones that I barely have. But it looks pretty. <laughs> so even if it doesn't work, I'll just leave it on the table and it'll look pretty. But that was only $2.99. It says it's titanium eyelash curler. Now, I felt like the Ross, I posted a picture on my Instagram story. I felt like the Ross wasn't as organized as the TJ Maxx beauty section. Um, but I felt like I found more stuff. Not as much makeup. Like, I feel like TJ Maxx had more makeup stuff that was good, which I'll show the, that in a minute. But as far as just in general, the stuff that I found that I thought was good and still sealed <laughs> and good deals, I think I found more at Ross. But, you know, it probably just kind of depends on the day, too. You know, when they get their shipments and you know, if it's on a weekend and that kind of stuff. So this is the last thing I got at Ross. It was a little mask uh, thing, which I thought was really cute because it's got three different ones here. Um, and it came with the applicator. We've got a rose gel face mask, gold and cucumber. Um, the rose, it says deep cleansing gel based formula with vitamins, ACE, 15 minute facial therapy. Uh, the gold one, which is what I was interested in, it says offers intense hydration to revitalize smooth and softened skin. Helps with reducing fine lines and wrinkles. Just kidding. Cucumber deep cleansing gel based formula with vitamins, blah, 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 blah. This was $7.99er and it is a global beauty care. So... I think I might need to do a video on this. So let me know what you guys think. And if you guys have tried these kind of masks before, I've seen this gold one before, uh, people trying it. So let me know if you've done it, if you like it, if you think it's worth it. $7.99, I didn't think it was that bad, you know, that bad of a deal to go ahead and give that a try. TJ Maxx, we move on. Like I said, it was more organized, so like, they had all the makeup like on a, um, like an actual like aisle per se. Um, in Ross, it was little stations, just like little shelving um, where everything was. But it was somewhat organized. It wasn't like terrible. But in TJ Maxx, they had it like all hung up, you know. Um, but I noticed like all the like eyeshadow palettes, most of them were crushed or broken or open. Um, so really, you know, if you're buying stuff like that, you got to check it out before you buy it. I don't want to buy stuff that's, you know, people that have their fingers in and all that. So, uh, this is the first thing from TJ Maxx I got for my makeup kit. Um, I thought this would be cool to have, uh, brush cleaning wipes. It says they're individually wrapped, but it's in this like sealed container. And this was, how much was this? Oh, I ripped off the price. <laughs> $3.99. Um, oh, look it. They are. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Wipeout. $3.99. So it says, uh, easily clean, cleans brushes to remove makeup and oil. Um, after you wipe it clean, reshape bristles and lay brush flat for three to five minutes until dry. So if I was at an event doing, you know, like I've done a couple events where I did makeup for like a theater program. Um, I did makeup for like a fashion show. So, you know, in between clients, um, this, you know, might be good to use. And it's easy to throw, you know, in my makeup kit. But it doesn't have to be for, you know, people doing professional makeup. You can just, like if you're going out of town or if you want to have some with you uh, at work or, you know, whatever. I just thought it was really cute and I like the packaging, you know quick little throw in your bag. I think that's going to be really beneficial if it works. So we'll see if it actually works. What else? This one, it says Absolute New York Nano Liner, Ultra Fine Precision Liquid Liner. So I, I looked at it, look at it. It's like a tiny, tiny little baby brush. It is little. Look at that. Ooh, there we go. It's tiny. Oh, that's nice. So it's like a felt tip but 
little precision. I think that was good. And this one was $4.99. I don't know this brand, Absolute New York. Never heard of it. But I will have to check it out. Unprecedented versatility. Subtle to bold. Super slim tapered felt tip. So I usually... I usually... <laughs> just knocking everything down. Um, I'm usually more of a liquid girl. Sometimes I'll use gel eyeliner. Um, but I try to do the felt tip ones and I'm usually just not very good at it or maybe I just don't have the right ones. So at any rate, I thought I'd try this one, especially since it's got the little fine tip, it might help do a better job. The eyelashes. Um, I got some Andrea eyelashes, $3.99. I don't, I mean, I feel like, and the reason I bought it is because usually I feel like one of them is $3.99 or even more than that. So, and 45 black, you know, obviously use that, no big deal. This one, I was really excited to find. It's the Ardell um, lashes, but they're magnetic. It was $9.99, so uh, I got two sets. Oh, wait. Oh, no. It's one set because you got a top and a bottom. Pretty. So pretty. <laughs> um, I thought I was getting like all this stuff. No, it's one set. But I haven't tried the magnetic lashes yet. Now I've got some friends that have tried it and they're like, meh, I don't know about that. But I haven't tried it yet. So I thought I'd give it a go. And uh, so if you're interested in seeing how this goes, I might do a video on these. Because um, I, I definitely, you know, have been wanting to try it and see how I feel about it. Um, but it says they're easy to apply, no adhesive, which would be a good thing for me because a lot of times uh, my eyes react a lot to the glue. Um, there was another glue I had. I don't know if it was just old, but I, I feel like my eyes were having some kind of allergic reaction or something. And then it would water. My eyes would water up and then it would ruin my makeup that I work so hard on so it was really stupid so this may be I mean if it works it may be a good thing for me because then you don't have to use the glue so we shall see last thing that I got at TJ Maxx I was very surprised to see this brand they had Stila products which I was like wait what where am I at where am I at they had Stila and I also saw some Anastasia lipstick the lipstick was not a color that I would have worn, so that's why I didn't buy it, but they had it. Um, so I was really surprised to see the Stila because this stuff is, you know, not cheap. I bought one thing. It's an Aqua Glow Serum Concealer in medium, $5.99. I looked online, and this is usually like, I think, $27 or something. So awesome deal for me. I checked all the stuff to make sure that nobody was using it. Um, so, I mean, it looks like a good product. I mean, I hadn't tried one of their concealers yet, so I thought I'd give it a go, especially since it was $5.99. Um, it says Aqua Glow Serum Concealer. So, let's see. So, it's got like a little, little fifi, you just kind of squirt. Oh, oh, that came out a lot. Ugh. Okay. That's, there we go, there we go feels nice. I put too much on. I feel like a little's going to go a long way in that in that department. Okay, what else did I get? I got two lipsticks. Um, one says Color Balm Lipstick, and then the other one says Stay All Day Matte Efficient Lipstick. So we got two different kinds. One is like a red. It's called Bisou. I'm not sure how you say that. Bisou, and then Savannah. It looks kind of like um, a dark like kind of raspberry-ish. This is beautiful packaging, by the way. I've got that concealer all over my hand. <laughs> okay, there we go. And I did check to make sure that nobody touched it and it looked clean. <laughs> so um, let's just kind of do a little swatch right there. Oh, that's pretty. It's kind of um, like a mauve-ish, brownish color. Yeah, so I'll try that out and see how that goes. And then the other one, like I said, was kind of a red. Let's see. I mean, I was like, all right, $5.99. See, this one's thinner, thinner. It's thinner. Ooh, it was bright, bright red. That's pretty. And this one is the stay all day, I think. So it's probably like some kind of matte finish. So these are, like I said, this one, I think, 
One of them looked like it was 22 and then the other one was 18. But at any rate, $5.99 and $5.99 is what I paid. So I feel like I got good deals. Um, like I said, let me know what you guys think. If there's something that I showed and you have questions about it or you just want more information or want to see a video, uh, let me know. Um, if you have any other ideas for videos that you'd like to see or a product that you are wanting me to check out for you, let me know about that too. Um, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe down below and have a great day. Bye!